Go cutters, let us in. Welcome to the house of the Lord, gentlemen. Thank Pastor you. Wallace. Pastor Wallace, how you doing, brother? Good doing great. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your ghost? What's her name, Jezebel? Yes, that's right. Her name's Jezebel. We're going to take you through a few uh, places here in the church where she has been uh, reported to have been seen before. We're going to go up in the attic. We're going to go up in uh, one of the wings. And we're going to go down in the basement. Now, i got to admit, I'm, I'm a little curious about how you guys uh, go about with your business here. Pastor, I'm glad you asked. There's a couple things we can do. We can uh, test some electromagnetic fields. We can uh, see how the temperature is changing in the room. We can also record some audio. A lot of times you can't hear it with a normal ear, but if you play it back slow, maybe in reverse, you can hear certain things. Uh, we also have a thermal camera, which is very good. You can set it up. And uh, sometimes the ghosts don't like to come around when you're like there, so you can set it up, leave it, put it on time lapse. You can see something go by because it's a different temperature, obviously. As well as we use uh, a couple of ancient techniques, some diving rods, just miscellaneous things. Well, wow, sounds like you guys really know what you're doing. Um, I've heard that you guys also use some sort of psychics. Is that true? Actually, Mike here is going to be heading that up, Pastor. Uh, he's a little more in touch with the spiritual side. He can sometimes hear things we can't. Uh, he can hear what they're saying, maybe feel them if they touch him. So he's your man for that. Pastor, according to Matt, there were some eyewitnesses to this ghost setting. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Maybe I'll be able to interview them? Yes, actually one of the uh, elder ladies here in the church was the first to spot one of the, uh, the ghosts up in the, the east wing there. And uh, she's willing to go on tape as long as her face is blacked out and her voice is disguised. Sounds great. Uh, I think we should get to looking around, show us around. Maybe we can uh, test a couple of these spots and then hopefully we can get uh, our interview in. Sounds good, gentlemen. Let's go. All right, up here is our first stop. This is where the first witness saw the, the ghost. Now, at the time, our first witness was up here cleaning stuff off the wall, and then out of her peripheral vision, she saw what looked to be a figure. So as she turned her head, all she saw was the whoosh tail part of the whatever's cloak, and then it was gone. She went down to check it out, and there was nothing there. One night, I was up here by myself doing some cleaning, and then out of the corner of my eye, it looked like I saw uh, some figure. As I turned my head, the figure just whipped around real fast, it looked like it had some billowy, flowing robe, and was gone. <sighs> She's been known to be called Jezebel, and I just haven't been able to come up here alone since then. This is stop number two. One night, two of the young men in the youth group were over here in the basement doing whatever, having to be discussing Jezebel, and then they heard sounded like clothing material rustling. They turned and looked, they saw just a, a whoosh, whatever, come turn right in here. They started walking towards here, they got about halfway here, and they heard a toilet flush. Came in here, nothing was there. Hmm. Same with this toilet right here? Yes. A lot of times people say this elevator here is haunted. It'll get stuck in between floors and people... Well, maybe she's trying to make contact. Now our next stop is going to be the attic. Alright, and this way is the attic. Gentlemen, this is the attic. Alright. 
Now, what happened was, a couple of guys were up here cleaning, you know, moving whatever around. One of the guys looked over in the coffin that's laying down over there, saw it looked like a mannequin, so they didn't pay much attention to it. They came back up a few minutes later to keep, you know, moving whatever around. They looked over again, and it was gone. All right, let's get a better, better look at this coffin. Sounds, sounds promising. Shine the light right there. Wow. That bad boy right there. I'm sensing a real strong ghost presence, like an angry ghost right here. Yes, right here. Well, gentlemen, that's spot number three. set up our equipment here while you go home. You have a good night, Pastor. All right, fellas. Happy hunting. Thank you, Pastor Wallace. All right, we're here setting up the base. Set up the computers to get some electronic readings. Mike, you going to head out to the first place? Yeah. I'll All be right, back. Man. All right, I'm here setting up my stuff. I'm going to hook up my a microphone here so me and Mike can, can communicate while he's out there. Mike, can you hear me? All right, good. All right, man, I'm bringing up the video right now. All right, we got you. What are you feeling up there? Matt, I'm getting a good reading from her in this area. I'm going to set up the audio recorder for here, all right? Let me know when you're ready. Great. All right, setting audio right now. All right, well, Mike's uh, recording the audio. We're going to go up and get some footage of that coffin with the thermal camera. So uh, let's head out. We're up here getting ready to go into the attic, right over here. Uh, that's where we're going to be using some thermal, some thermal action, see what we can get a hold of, see if we can get some change of temperature and what have you. All right, we're going to head on down here. We're going to get on down to that coffin, see what. Whoa, hold on a second, hold on a second. I feel something changing. Whew, it's getting. It's get, you can actually see my breath. Temperature's changing. Look. Oh, there's something here. There's definitely something here right now. We're gonna head on down here. We're gonna turn the night vision on. All right, we got the night vision on. Is it working? Yeah. We got it on? All right, we're gonna walk on down here with the night vision, see what we can see, see if we got anything going. All right, I'm gonna send the cameraman away at this point. I would like to do, uh, lay in the coffin by myself, see what I can pick up, see if we get any movements with me just by myself. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, I'm by the coffin now, and uh, <coughs> I'm not sure if uh, this is a joke. Or I don't know what's going on, but uh, some garments just draped her along in here. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't freaked out. I've never seen anything quite like this, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay down in it now. So uh, I'm going to have to set the camera down for a second. Jezebel. If you're here, give us a sign. Did you guys hear that? Thing came down the hall. Let's go. Get them up. Get them up. All right, I'm here in the coffin. Uh, some crazy noises going on around me here. 
I've lost complete contact with Mike. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's what he's doing, where he is. He hasn't answered me for like an hour. So uh, turned on the thermal a couple seconds ago, and uh, some of the disturbing images I caught while I was recording. I think we got what we need though. We got some good thermal. We got some good reading, so uh, I think we're gonna get out of here. Or I'm gonna get out of here since I sent the camera guy back. Alright, I'm in the attic. I'm getting out of here. There's something in this attic haunted crazy where uh Whoa oh, crap! Go 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 go! <laughs> Alright, we're back outside. We're out of there. I don't know what's going on in there. We're gonna go in here. Sit down for a second. See what's going on. So uh, let's get in here. I gotta sit down for a second. Alright. Alright, so I'm laying in the coffin, man. I don't know what's going on. Some crashing, some crazy crap going on in there. Let's gonna listen to the radio for a minute. Something coming through. It's like air make. Avantias. It's like. Ha means like go. I think Avantias means like leave. It just keeps saying leave, leave over and over. Freaking, freaking. Alright. There's some freaking sound coming through. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Back here at headquarters, still haven't heard from Mike. We're gonna go to his last known location, see what's going on, see if he's still recording. Then we're gonna get him, we're gonna get the heck out of here, man. Lights on here. Lights aren't working. Hey, put that camera on. Let's go look for Mike. Come on. It'd be better if we just go together. Mike. 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 Oh my God. Ah!